My name is David Eng. I'm, uh, I live here in Prince Rupert now. This is my fifth season working for myself, running my own company, Sunset Charters. I've always wanted to do it for myself and uh, you know, offer a, a good fishing experience for everybody. I met Frankie, oh, it's gotta be 13, 14 years ago. I was living in Whistler. He was working in Whistler. He was working at the fly shop there. So it was a, a regular place I went. You know, I, I didn't know him that well at that point, but he was always a, a, an excited guy and you could tell he loved fly fishing. Uh, you know, he was good. He showed me a few really good little hidden corners up there. And, um, he was working just in Terrace there, guiding the river, and, and we got to talking. I, I hadn't seen him in years, and I, I emailed him because one of my guests wanted to go out on the river. So he said, yeah, we can take care of that, but I need to go fish the salt water. It's been too long. Same Hi, Slack. Hi, Slack, from Low Slack. Do you copy, over? Copy, copy. Where you at, buddy? Roger, you'll see us there in the holiday in the bay. Sitting in the backseat of your mother's car, there was forest on the way back, you ran all the way back. Sent some complex signals to the others on the road. I was sending all the mind beams, no one ever found me. People always said I'm a kind of a nomad fishing guide, and it's kind of true in some ways. I, I guide to a lot of different places, different river systems, uh, but I made the, the coast now my home, and I feel like uh, I belong here. There's something about the ocean that keeps me coming back. When I'm on the ocean, uh, I feel at home. You know, I sit in this seat every morning and every day uh, at the end of the day. Uh, it's, uh, it's my commute to work. Uh, even if it's an hour drive, I think it's a lot better than a gridlock traffic. <laughs> the saltwater fly fishing is, is one of those things that uh, people have been doing it for 20, 30 years, probably more in, in the ocean. And just amazing to catch a, a salmon, not in the river, not in the estuary, but in their feeding grounds, in their, the prime of their life. You know, they're the strongest they're going to be, they're the most aggressive they're going to be. Um, just taking, the, taking those flies so hard that it almost rips the rod out of your hand. Um, it, it's always something that I wanted to do with my business. It's really interesting to see when uh, you release a fish per se and you basically say, hey, like, maybe I'll see you up the river this fall when I'm steelhead guiding. And uh, I just gave a chance to that fish to actually survive and go make babies and do that great journey up the Skeena. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's actually, uh, it's almost emotional to talk about it because they're, um, they're such on to a big journey. It's crazy. <laughs> Is there a sound of the things we found on our way?